Hey guys, John here again. Um, right, this video is a a response, or oh, sorry, a contest entry to um, Jeff Kempin. I think it is Kempin. Um, he's got a hundred subs um, contest on at the moment, um, and I think I'm early on in it. I think it's quite new. Um, it's called Crazy Eights, so you've got to choose a, um, bands or albums from um, any of the years, you know, as long as the last, uh, it's uh, an eight, so 78, 88, 98, 2008, 2018 if you've got any, um, or even before then, um, but because uh, I'm sort of 70s child 80s um that's probably going to be more my my time um i do like the beatles and stuff like that some of the 60s stuff but not a great deal so i'm not going to do those um i'm going to start off with uh i'm going to start off with yes this one um Oh, by the way, congratulations, uh, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start off with uh, my favourite band, White Snakes. Trouble album, 1978. Uh, been chatting to Metal, Mick, Metal Mickey today, and he's been asking me what's your favourite White Snake albums? Top three, please. Let me know. Um, I struggle to do that because there's two. Era, uh, three eras of White Snake. There's, you know, there's, there's the late eighties with the uh, John Sykes, and then you've got the from the US version version of Slide it In onwards to Slip of the Tongue with uh, Steve Vai and Adrian Vandenberg and Vivian Campbell. But that's one sort of era. This is the era I love the most. The Mickey Moody, the Bernie Marsden, right the way to um, slide it in of the UK uh, mix of the album. That's the that's the band I I love the most. Um, and then obviously you got the Doug Aldridge version of the band from two thousand three ish onwards to obviously he's not in the band now, but um, yeah. Um, I still like the stuff now that they bring out, and they're bringing out it's supposed to be a new album this year, I think. Uh, but yeah, Trouble, 1978, Killer, I love it. Bluesy, rock, more like a bar band than uh, yeah, in some areas. But yeah, really, really cool album. So the next 1978 one I've got is... Uh, Killing Machine by Judas Priest and this is just amazing um, yeah I've been into Judas Priest for since about 94 um, it's just pff, that is you know I love all the Judas Priest stuff um, they really have jumped up in the ranks of my favourite bands they're in the top three for sure um, I'm still debating whether they're at second place or third. And White Snakes being my first, obviously, for donkey years. So, yeah, Jesus Priest. Next one. Where are we now? Let's try and get. Have we got any more old ones? No. We're going to jump forward a bit. We're going to jump forward to Queen Strikes Operation Minecraft from 1988. And uh, yeah, this is Deluxe Edition, amazing, killer album, um, all the way through. I never get bored of this. Um, and then if you haven't got it already, um, go and source out the CD, Operation Live Crime. Okay. I think it's the same as they put on here, because on here they called it Operation Mind Crime. Um, performed live at Hammersmith Odeon but it says it's previously unreleased whereas 
Operation Live Crime, which I've got on CD, has been out for not long after this came out. So yeah, I don't know if it's the same thing, I'll have to pull it out. Um, but yeah, 1988. Another one from 1988, which is an absolutely an awesome thrash album. Megadeth, so far, so good, so what? And that is one hell of a killer album. I love Megadeth. Megadeth are in my top five for sure. Um, best bands. So yeah. Awesome. Um, do that. Then we go on to um, Scorpions, 1988 album. Savage Amusement, another amazing, oh, should be that way, another amazing album. Uh, very much more commercial though than the uh, and keyboardy than uh, the album before Love at First Sting. Still great effort, well, great album. Some really catchy tunes on here, and uh, yeah. But the Scorpions have always been like that, so. Um, next one. Europe's Out of This World. My favourite album back then. I used to play this over and over and over again. Not this record, but um, my cassette. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely awesome. And uh, you know, Europe used to be my favourite band. And uh, sometimes I feel a bit like, like they are still absolutely amazing. I, I love their their stuff. Um, but I think discovering all these other bands has knocked them down. I don't know. I, I feel guilty <laughs> for putting them further down. Because they should be still at my my second place or first place. Um, next one is from 1988. And it's Ozzy Osbourne's No Rest for the Wicked. I would show my record of this I recently got. But the guy sent it in such poor condition. That I've just sent it back today. Um, so yeah, if you want to see the video for that. It's uh, on my channel. From a couple of days ago so yeah no rest for the wicked uh amazing album um and the first to feature my favorite guitarist or my favorite living guitarist and that would be zach wild so there we go and i'm going to jump well forward now to 2008 white snakes good to be bad the al only album from that year i was actually listening to Everything else I was listening to really old, well, old 80s stuff, hair, metal, hair, bands, or glam, metal, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, hard rock, melodic rock bands, obscure bands that most people probably have never heard of in the UK, but, you know, I was discovering a lot then. And uh, yeah. I was still flying the flag for White Snake as well. So there we go. And I got cramp. Oh, right. Um, congratulations again, Jeff. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you will do very well with your subscribers, um, especially being very generous with um, offering $80. Obviously, I'm in the UK. So sterling, so um, I can't work out what it is at the moment, but uh, yeah, but I'm sure you'll get loads of entries and uh, you seem really nice guys, so keep rocking and uh, see you soon, cheers.